Hello, in the continuation of the Eternal Master Hacker series, today we go through fallback instance, leave a like, subscribe and follow our next solutions. Okay, so what we are starting with is uh, uh, all of those things that say uh, whether we, we've been in the level, and it says that uh, we need to claim ownership of the contract, so we just steal it completely, and reduce its balance to zero. So it's very interesting, might be useful. Uh, what's next? Uh, uh, they want us to uh, send either when interacting with the ABI, send either outside of the ABI, and convert from way slash either's units, okay, and fallback methods. So we'll probably have some fallback methods in the contract, but uh, let's check what's happening here to know what we are working with. And uh, um, the start looks cool because they use SafeMath library and it's an older Solidity version, so it was uh, recommended to use the SafeMath library to avoid uh, all of the overflow problems. And uh, uh, then we store it here. We have a list of contributions and uh, we store the owner information. Okay. So, uh, owner is uh, set to message sender uh, when the contract is deployed, so in the constructor. And also we uh, provide some money to the person who deploys the smart contract. And exactly 1000 either. So we are not the message sender because uh, even though we triggered the uh, get new uh, instance thing, I think that we are not the deployers and uh, in a few minutes, in a minute, uh, we will check uh, whether we have any uh, any money here, but I bet not. Then we have only owner modifier that's used uh, in withdraw, so only owner can withdraw all of the money, so seems uh, really fair. And then we have the contribute function. It uh, looks rather simple, though it's interesting that the message value has to be bigger than, than this. No, it's, it has to be smaller, actually. Okay, so we need to send uh, really small values. And when we send the value, it's assigned to, to the contributions mapping. And if contributions of our, if our contributions are bigger than the contributions of the owner, we become the owner. So it will be useful to check how big of a contribution the owner has. And it looks like he has 1,000 either. So unless we want to spend uh, like uh, three months sending 0 0.0009 either to match the 1,000, to exceed the 1,000 either, we have to find a better solution. So, what's uh, next? And we have the code contribution function, which indeed we can use for checking our contributions. We have withdraw using the set on the order modifier, and it transfers uh, the whole balance using the address this dot balance syntax, so balance of the whole contract to the owner. And then we have an interested thing, uh, which is a receiver. So uh, if you send a transaction, but you don't specify a, 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 an available method, you just send a transaction with, uh, with a value because it's viable, then it ends up here and executes the code which says that if the value is not zero, it's bigger than zero, and the contributions of the message sender are bigger than zero, then we become the message sender. So we see if you send anything bigger than zero, and you have the contribution bigger than zero, not, uh, not required to have uh, big contributions, but anything, we become the owner of the contract. So if we could um, have a contribution and then 
trigger this thing, we become the owners and we can withdraw all of the money. And that uh, would fulfill the requirements to beat this level. So I think that we can start with, uh, with uh, practice, with real actions and uh, see what's going on here. Yes, exactly. So let's get new instance first. Now we are in the new instance. So let's start with uh, checking the contribution. Let's call get contribution function with the await. Exactly. So here you can see that there's a zero. Zero, so there's nothing inside. Well, uh, next, let's try to contribute some money. The contract contribute. And with the message value, we will use curries here. Okay, for example, one, uh, it uh, may be the one way, maybe more, but it has to be less than 0 0.001 ether. All right, so now we can uh, go for the receiver. So we will call the send transactions function. function. Because we want to become the owner and uh, receive changes owner, the message sender makes, sorry, owner, the message sender. And if we will call that, we can withdraw the funds out of the contract. So let's call contract withdraw. And after the confirmation, we can submit the instance and we will see if that works. It'll be fine. All right, let's call submit. Great, Eternant agrees with us. So that was the point to become the owner, to withdraw the funds, and that's the solution for this whole back instance. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.